everybody, welcome back to Third Phase. This is Rich Giordano reporting. A very interesting story came across my desk yesterday morning. It says, WTF, newly discovered ghostly circles in the sky can't be explained by current theories and astronomers are excited. So you can see the picture, this translucent bubble ghostly circle type of thing it's just not found anywhere nobody's ever seen it before so i'm just reading from the blog here what they're talking about because it's brand new it's this is amazing i'll continue here in september 2019 my colleague anna kapinski gave a presentation showing interesting objects she'd found while browsing our new radio astronomical data she had started noticing very weird shapes she couldn't fit easily into any known type of object. Among them, labeled by Anna as WTF, was a picture of a ghostly circle of radio emission hanging out in space like a cosmic smoke ring. None of us had ever seen anything like it before, and we had no idea what it was. A few days later, our colleague Emil Lenk found a second one, even more spooky than Anna's. Anna and Emil began examining the new images from our pilot observations for the evolutionary map of the universe, the EMU project, made with CSIRO's Revolutionary New Australian Square Kilometer Array Pathfinder, ASKAP telescope. EMU plans to boldly probe parts of the universe where no telescope has ever gone before. It can do so because ASKAP can survey large swaths of the sky very quickly probing to a depth previously only reached in tiny areas of the sky and being especially sensitive to faint, diffuse objects like these. Hunting these ORCs, the team searched the rest of the data by eye and they found a few more of the mysterious round blobs. They dubbed them ORCs, which stands for Odd Radio Circles. But the big question, of course, is what are they? Well, when they look at in images taken with optical telescopes at the position of those ORCs, they see nothing. Nothing's there with the regular telescope. The rings of radio emission are probably caused by clouds of electrons, but why we don't see anything in visible wavelengths of light? We don't know, but finding a puzzle like this is the dream of every astronomer. What they know they're not. They ruled out several possibilities for what ORCs might be. Could they be supernova remnants? The clouds of debris left behind when a star in our galaxy explodes? No, they are far from most of the stars in the Milky Way and there are too many of them. Could this be the rings of radio emissions sometimes seen in galaxies undergoing intense bursts of star formation? Again, no. We don't see any underlying galaxy that would be hosting the star formation. Could they be the giant lobes of radio emission we see in radio galaxies caused by jets of electrons squirting out from the environs of a supermassive black hole? Not likely, because the ORCs are very distinctly circular, unlike the tangled clouds we see in radio galaxies. Could they be Einstein rings, in which radio waves from a distant galaxy are being bent into a circle by the gravitational field of a cluster of galaxies? Still no. ORCs are too symmetrical, and we don't see a cluster at their center. A genuine mystery. So they need to explore things that might exist but haven't yet been observed, such as a vast shock wave from some explosion in a distant galaxy. Such explosions may have something to do with the fast radio bursts or the neutron star and black hole collisions that generate gravitational waves. Or perhaps they are something else entirely. Two Russian scientists have even suggested ORCs might be the throats of wormholes in space-time. It's a tricky job because ORCs are very faint and difficult to find. Our team is brainstorming all these ideas and more, 
hoping for the eureka moment when one of us or perhaps someone else suddenly has a flash of inspiration that solves the puzzle. It's an exciting time for us. Most astronomical research is aimed at refining our knowledge of the universe or testing theories. Very rarely do we get the challenge of stumbling across a new type of object which nobody has seen before and trying to figure out what it is. It is a completely new phenomenon or something we already know about but viewed in a weird way. And if it really is completely new, how does that change our understanding of the universe? Watch this space. Ray Norris wrote this. He's a British Australian astronomer in the School of Science at Western Sydney University and with the CSIRO Astronomy and Space Science. He researches how galaxies formed and evolved after the Big Bang and the process of astronomical d discovery with large data volumes. He also researches the astronomy of Australian Aboriginal people. Pretty amazing stuff. If you look at these things, could they be the throat or the travel causeway? of a wormhole, like they said, like they theorized. Man, it's weird. I think, I'll tell you what I think this is. I think that this is a rogue cloud of gas. That's it. That's all it is. And I'm not, and I'm not a scientist. I'm not an astrologist. I'm just taking a guess because it's see-through, it looks like a cloud, and it looks like it would be uh, something that was the result of uh, maybe an explosion or creation of something. Very interesting. Now we're going to talk a little bit about third phase of moon. A couple of days ago, about three, four days ago, the Cousins Brothers talked about a couple of photographs they received, and I wanted to go over these with you and uh, tell you what I see. I don't know, just a different point of view, but um, let's hear what they say first, and then we'll comment. Here we go. Welcome back to Third Phase Moon. Blake Cousins, we got a special report for you today. Incredible photographs have just come in, and we're gonna be sharing them with you in regards to possible craft harnessing the energy from the sun and an incredible display that you're looking at right now including breaking news in regards to the 180 day countdown uh, for congress uh, they're pretty much on the tails of our documentary coming out february 16th 2021 but why is the congress talking about this 180 day countdown but before we get to all that stuff, buckle up everybody. We're looking at these pictures right now and they are astonishing. Uh, what are the implications of exactly what we're looking at are as insane. And these images that have come into third phase of the moon um, are shocking just to say the least. I'm sure you guys are impressed with what you're looking at right now. Let me just pull up the information on who and when and where. An astrophotographer captures images of a mysterious light. According to the eyewitness, he said he witnessed an unforgettable flash while he was taking pictures of the Milky Way and suddenly a ship appears. He says with a unique light and incomparable with any other flying object and he said it was rising from the horizon very slowly and he said he got lost to the west. This was captured in Red Moon Valley in the General Rock area in Argentina. So we're looking at these incredible images and what's very, very amazing. If you look closely in one of the photographs, it seems to me that on the lower right hand uh, corner of the image, you see this obelisk. I'm not exactly sure if this is a monolith or obelisk, but it is very uh, strange indeed. Besides this incredible image that we're looking at even closer, we could almost make out some detail. Are you seeing this, Brent? Absolutely. Even pulling up on that one particular photo, you even get a better look at it. Right above the light, it seems like there's even a cabin above it. You can almost see structure, like it's a craft, not just a, a light in particular. Could there actually be some sort of craft right there producing this kind of light? It looks elongated, almost tic-tac in, in its own right, but it has this mysterious light that kind of brings off this luminosity even in the sky it kind of lights up everything around it which is creates this rather beautiful look to it i really like this photo blake 
Yeah, some people might say that this is Photoshop, but I, I don't see any deception. We're looking at these very closely. Uh, in my opinion, these photographs are legit, but according to the astro uh, photographer, he's actually stated that he saw this thing rising. So I don't think it's any kind of, um, you know, illusion or a reflection coming from uh, the lens to the camera. And I'm also having to rule out that this is any kind of like maybe speed or uh, time speed capture or time lapse capture that this is creating this illusion as well. This is, uh, seems to me as the eyewitness says, is that there is a structure, a craft, and it's very bizarre too. We're not seeing any indications of any like FAA lights too. We almost see this black craft over the beam of light. This is very bizarre. But I want to get your thoughts on this uh, monolith uh, in close proximity. Do you think uh, there's a correlation? Because these monoliths have been now popping up all over the place. It's very uh, strange that they're all over the planet. But in this uh, particular photograph, we have a UFO and the monolith in the same region. Uh, are you aware of any monoliths that popped up in Argentina recently, Brent? No, I haven't heard anything of the sort. But like you said, they're popping up everywhere. I think a lot of these monolith sightings that was first seen in Utah. So what we're looking at here is, again, what are the odds? He's capturing a UFO and it's a great shot. You can see directly at the bottom, uh, nice standing tall monolith and it's clear as day could these spacecraft actually be dropping these off that if that's it could this be clear evidence of a ufo dropping off the monolith stunning photos to say the least uh, again. i can already tell this is going to be a little difficult this to me looks like a couple of different things it looks like time lapse it looks like a lens flare. It looks like a UFO. It looks like two UFOs. We've got a whole bunch of stuff here, but seeing the sun, like the way we just saw it right there, and whatever this object is, I'm not sure if it's from the housing of the camera and it's just a reflection of light inside the, the, the camera, you know? right around the lens area. I don't know, this is tough. Cause right there, that reminds me of the UFO in 2005, I believe it was, or 15. <laughs> I think it was 15, 2015, where in China, they saw these rows, not a row, but a tube of light. And it was, I think it was, they closed down the airport, but it looked like that this tube of light in China was shining a light of the same length as the tube itself to the ground so light was being emitted from this craft down to the ground in the same sighting as the craft it was very defined light it kind of reminds me of this i really don't know uh i think we have possibly i don't know see what's on the left there it looks like a lens flare but what is that other object in the sky? Was it reflecting? Was the sun reflecting off of an object? It's an interesting color. That bluish hue mixed in with the white. Man, I don't know. Possibilities. There's only a couple. Either it's a UFO mixed in with a lens flare. Or it's all part of an illusion. But I am not so sure. I think this is uh, something that needs to be tested. This is what I'm talking about. This is where real research comes in. Somebody with a camera that exactly like this guy's go out there and aim it at the sun and see what kind of anomalies show up. That's the only way you can rule out some things. And even then, it may not be a perfect um, way of figuring things out. Not that we can always figure everything out. The possibilities could be endless. But uh, it's very interesting. I kind of like it because it reminds me of that China sighting, which was legit. Pretty cool. Now we're going to look at a Facebook post. Somebody saw this object near the sun. So let's hear what uh, Brent and Blake have to say about this, and then we'll comment. Facebook of what looks to be a giant unknown object that was captured in the vicinity of the sun, and it was captured just yesterday. He said it was clear. Uh, it was resembling a boomerang-type triangular shape, and 
its size could be similar to Earth. This is coming in from Gregory, and he says he's from watching the sun out of Mexico, and he did a good job really trying to capture the sun, and he was just lucky enough to capture uh, what looks to be like other triangular craft that we see on Earth, these uh, hybrid black op uh, projects, these triangular shaped craft, the tier three B, whatever you call it, uh, people are seeing them here on earth and we've seen them ourselves right here in Hawaii. But what's amazing is now we're getting it in close proximity uh, to the sun. And that's what Gregory captured. And uh, I don't know, Brent, what do you, what do you make of this? Uh, I gotta say, this is a pretty astonishing evidence. If you could see a planet sized triangular shaped craft uh, in such close proximity to the sun how is it not just burning up that's the technology we're after if we could figure that out i think we'd be traveling the stars like the rest of these guys but yeah this is an incredible footage right here and gregory he he's catching shots of the sun like soho does nasa and these high-end cameras and man he, he's pulling off the same capabilities so that's awesome these amateur uh observers that are actually capturing these anomalies next to the sun really proves and leads into the information that what we're seeing here these anomalies are in fact true that what we're seeing are intergalactic spaceships possibly using the sun for energy or some sort or maybe just hiding there so we can't even see them because they're we're blinded by the light of the sun it could be their disguise shielded by the light absolutely and what a good place to hide uh, and what a great source of energy you're exactly right Brent. well when i see something like this i get pretty excited because that means this object is very huge like planet size and i don't understand why an object of this shape would be 93 million miles away from us and be that sharp and that i mean that what i'm trying to say is it looks like a, a typical ufo a triangle boomerang actually it's really defined it definitely looks like a triangular craft that we see on earth i don't understand how that's there if, if that's not an anomaly or what. But I think Brent said they use the sun to hide because it's so bright. But when they come around, man, it's strange. We've seen objects in the past uh, apparently going into the sun and coming out the other side with trails behind them. I can't imagine what these must look like if, it, if they're really UFOs alien technology i just can't imagine i have really no other thought than to say either it's space debris or it's space junk from a previous civilization still floating around maybe you know they're out there and they're sucking up the plasma from the sun who knows whatever it is apparently that's there and this guy got it on his telescope I have no idea what else to say other than either it's anomaly, it's an anomaly, or it's a real UFO. Camera artifact, real UFO. Nobody knows. It's amazing. That about wraps it up for today on Third Phase UFO Report. We'll be back very soon, probably tomorrow, with another UFO report to go over. I'm Rich Giordano from Goofon. You can see me every night, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific live. And also we have some premieres going up too as well. So thank you very much. And uh, don't forget, if you ain't looking up, you ain't looking out. Take care, everybody.